Good evening, parents. My intention here is to try to help some persons who are having difficulty with division. This is division with carry. So let's go. I have 2938 to be divided by 7. Now let's go. 7 into 29. In other words, how many times can I get 7 out of 29? To make this easy for me, let me first of all do my 7 times table. 7 times 1 equals 7. 7 times 2 equals 14. 7 times 3 equals 21. 7 times 4 equals 28. 7 times 5 equals 35. 7 times 6 equals 42. 7 times 7 equals 49. 7 times 8 equals 56. 7 times 9 equals 63. 7 times 10 equals 70. 7 times 11 equals 77. And 7 times 12 equals 84. So, to be safe, and not to stress while I'm going through this. I'm dividing by 7. In order for me to be able to divide by 7, I must know my 7 times table. So my suggestion to you as parents is that you teach your students. First of all, you got to know the table that I'm going to divide by. So let's go. I go 7 into 29. I go to my 7 times table and I notice that the closest I'm going to come here is 28. I go to 7 times 5 because I'll end up with 35. So 7 into 29, I'm going to get 4 times. I write that 4. What is 7 times 4? That is 28. Now I'm going to do the subtraction. 9 take away 8, I'm left with 1. Nothing is left with. Now I'm going to bring down this 3. Then I go 7 into 13. Can't go 2 times because 7, 2 times 7 is going to give me 14. So 7 into 13, I would only get 1. 1 times 7 is 7. 7, 13 take away 7, I'm left with 6. I'm going to now bring down this 8. I go 7 into 68. I again go back to my table and I notice I can go right here. 63. I can't go to 10 because it will be 7. 7 into 63. 68. I could get 9 times. 7 nines, 63. 8 take away 3. I'm left with 5. And so my answer for this problem will be 4. One, nine, and remain five. So that would have been my answer for seven into two, nine, three, eight. Okay, now let's try another problem. I'm going to try a problem that has a double digit division. Example, here's an example that I have from the set of problems that we have. It says two, five, three, six, four, and I'm dividing that by. That's sorry. Two, five, three, six, four, and I'm asked to divide that by sixteen. Now, which table do I need this time? I need my sixteen times table. That's what I'm dividing by, and it is just as easy as my one time, two time, three time because multiplication. Is another, it's just a turnaround of addition. So let's do my 16 time table. 16 times 1 is going to be 16. 16 times 2 is going to be 16 plus 16 is going to give me 32. 16 times 3 is going to give me 3 6 is 18, 8 carry 1, 3 1 is 48. 16 times 4 is going to give me 4 6 is 24, 4 carry 2, 4 and 4 and 2, 64. 
60 times 5 is going to give me 5, 6 is 30, 0, carry 3, 5, 1 is 5, and 3, 8, 80. 60 times 6 is going to give me 6 times 6 is 36, 6 carry 3, 6, 1, 6, and 3, 9. 60 times 7 is going to give me 7, 6, 7, 42. Right back up to my 7 times table again. 6, 7, 42. 2 carry 4, 7, 1, 7, and 4, 11. 60 times 8. 8 times 6 is 48, 8 carry 4, 8 by 8, and 4, 12. And I'm going to stop right there. I think I'm going to need more than that. So I now go 16 into 25. I realized from that I could only get one time because 16 times 1 is 16, but if I go to 2, it's 32, which is bigger than 25. So this is going to be 16. Subtracting 25 take away 16. I'll go right here. 15 take away 6. Leave me with 9. So I'm left with 9. Now I'm going to bring down my 3. Bring down this 3. And this becomes 93. So I go. How many times can I get 16 out of 93? Right here. I notice I can stop right here. 16 times. 5 is going to give me 18. I couldn't go to 6 because I would end up with 96. So what am I going to be left with here? I'm going to be left with 3, 1. I'm going to bring down this 6. 16 into 136. I think I can stop right here. That's going to give me 8 times. 16 into 136 is going to give me 8 times. So we have 128 from that, 8 from 16, I'm going to be left with 8. This would have been a 0, 0. I'm going to bring down my, now bring down my 4. 16 into 84, and that's going to give me 5 times at 5. It's going to give me 80, and my remainder is going to be 4. So my answer for this problem would have been... One five eight five remainder four. So, what is the vision? The vision is simply an opposite to multiplication. Before I can divide, I must first of all know my tables. Can I do any tables? Yes. Doing any table is simply adding the same number over and over and over. So it's a single digit. It's a double digit. Even if it's a table that I cannot remember in my head, like I do the 1 to 12, I can do any table by simply adding. Notice, 7 times 1 is 7. When I go 7 times 2, all I do is add 7 plus 7, and I get 14. So 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3, I'm adding another 7 to 14, and I will get 21. 7 times 4, adding another 7 to 21, I will get 28 when I continue. 7 times 5, add another 7 to 28, and I will get 35. It's the same thing with my 16 times table. 16 times 1 is 16. 16 times 2, add 16 to 16, and I will get 32. 16 times 3. Add another 16 to 32, I will get 48. 16 times 4, add another 16 to 48, and I will get 64. But the key is, before you start doing your division problem, make sure that you write out your multiplication problem on the side of your problem. Don't wait to go to the back of your book to look for it. Write it out. Make sure you know it. Make sure you know how to do it. You write it out on the side of the problem, and then it's going to be absolutely easy for you to do your division. Thank you.